Today, I want to show you how to create a new Facebook page, which is going to be linked to your main identity. So if you look at the screen here, you'll see I'm in my main identity, which is Elizabeth Hall. And this is my personal Facebook account. I'm actually going to create a new page today um, because I'll be doing some authoring and I would like to have a separate page for that. So you can't really see it here on this timeline. You need to be in a different spot. I'm sure there's many ways that you can do this, but this is um, the way that I found. So first I'm gonna go to home which actually takes me to the news feed, but I need to be here where it says pages feed. So let's go to the pages feed. Uh, actually, let's go to the liked pages. It's kind of weird to try to get here, but this is the easiest way I found. And here at the top, right here, I'm gonna go to create page. And this is where you'll start the process to create your page. Now, I could create a fan page or a business page. I think I'm going to go with a business page for my brand. And it's going to ask for a company or a category. And of course, you know, you never fit into what they have here. You can always go back and change this. So just keep that in mind. So for now, I'm just gonna put the small business and the company name is actually gonna be me. And it says, I agree to the Facebook pages and terms and get started. Just gotta give my computer a little bit of time to catch up seems we have a slow connection today and then you just go through the process of fixing your page up so I'm just gonna put a little description here and I'm just gonna kind of leave this blank but you get the gist You can actually put in a couple of websites if you wanted to. So from here, we're going to say save and then I can upload a picture from my computer and I'm not going to do this right now either. I'm going to skip all of these steps just so we can go to the end. Um, you can add to your favorites if you like, add your pages to your favorites so you can easily access them. So I'm going to do that and go to next and you can actually add a payment here if you want to do some advertisement, which I won't be advertising that way. And then once you ha you're in your page, you'll see we have a new page here and it basically doesn't anything have anything. It's a clean slate. However, you'll also see that you can invite your friends that are on your main identity if you like. And we're not going to do that at this time. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'll fix the page up, but that's how you can quickly make a new Facebook page. And this page is separately seen from your other pages. It's a business page. It works a little bit differently. So this might be something you want to consider if you have a business going. I actually do have some friends who have businesses and they're just using their personal page. And it's kind of unprofessional because some things that are posted on your personal page, really, you don't want your business customers to see. So I highly recommend that you do a business page. And that's it for today.